Hello guys and uh, welcome to this Lightroom 4 Travel Photography Retouching course. So today we are going to do six uh, retouching projects with uh, five different photos, actually six different photos. The first video is going to cover um, how I retouched that photo of a sunset in Venice and how I got it uh, to go uh, this way. It's quite a drastic change. Uh, some people think it's too much, but I kind of like it and I want to share this with you. Also, what happens often when you go on tour, a vacation or on a travel, you sometimes have like very bad weather. Like, for example, I like the composition of this photo, but I don't like how it's all grayed out and the weather is really bad. So the magic of light touch to the rescue, uh, this is what I got out of it after uh, a few tricks. The next one is going to be a project. Often when I do photos, I try to go for uh, a color version or a black and white version. So this is the before photo, the raw files. And this is the um, coming in a second. This is the color version. So much more colorful, a lot more contract, more grungy. And then uh, I did another video to make a, a, dress, a dramatic black and white version of it, which is this one coming. All right. Uh, that I kind of like. Next, we have night shots. So this is a night shot still in Venice. That was the travel, Venice. And this is the before shot. And this is the after shot coming in a sec. Voila, the after shot. A lot more brighter, uh, different composition. You know, I kind of like it. Uh, and the last video, uh, we are gonna do sh I'm gonna show you a new feature in Lightroom 4.1. Now, it only works in Lightroom 4.1 where you're going to you take uh, bracketed photos. This is a normal photo. This is an underexposed photo of the same scene. This is an overexposed photo of the same thing. And we are going to use Photoshop CS6 not to HDR it, but just to create a 32 bit file. And the HDR itself, what we call the tone mapping, is going to be done in Lightroom 4. And that's the final result. Uh, basically, it's a new trick where you can take all these three exposures, blend them into one photo, and then you retouch it in Lightroom, just like if it was a raw file, but you get a lot more dynamic range. And I will show you also a comparison between this way of doing it and if you just retouch the normal exposure. So a lot of work ahead of us, and uh, let's go to Venice, ladies and gentlemen. I invite you uh, to start right now. 